BrainWise presents Grade 5, Math, Quizby, Part 3 Hello, Mathletes! Welcome back to BrainWise, where learning is always an adventure! Today, we're going on a thrilling math quest. Get ready to climb mountains of multiplication, swim through seas of subtraction, and explore the jungles of addition. Will you be the ultimate math explorer? Let's go! Easy round. Number one. A shape is hidden inside a rectangle. The shape has four sides, but only two of its sides are parallel. What could the hidden shape be? Again. A shape is hidden inside a rectangle. The shape has four sides, but only two of its sides are parallel. What could the hidden shape be? The choices are A. A square B. A rhombus C. A trapezoid D. A parallelogram The correct answer is C. A trapezoid Number 2 A point is located at 3, 5 on the coordinate plane. What are the coordinates of its reflection across the y-axis? Again, a point is located at 3, 5 on the coordinate plane. What are the coordinates of its reflection across the y-axis? The choices are A. Negative 3, 5 B. 3, negative 5 C. Negative 3, negative 5 D. 5, 3 The correct answer is A. Negative 3, 5 Number 3 A regular octagon has how many diagonals? Again A regular octagon has how many diagonals? The choices are A. 8 B. 16 C. 20 D. 32 The correct answer is C. 20 Number 4 If you cut a corner off a cube, how many vertices corners does the new shape have? Again, if you cut a corner off a cube, how many vertices corners does the new shape have? The choices are A. 7 B. 8 C. 10 D. 12 The correct answer is C. 10 Number 5 a square piece of paper is folded in half diagonally, and then in half again. If the folded paper is then cut along the folded line, what shape will be formed when the paper is unfolded? Again, a square piece of paper is folded in half diagonally, and then in half again. If the folded paper is then cut along the folded line, what shape will be formed when the paper is unfolded? The choices are A. A smaller square B. A rectangle C. A triangle. D. A diamond. The correct answer is C. A triangle. Give yourselves a high five, explorers! You conquered the first leg of our math quest. But the adventure doesn't stop here. More challenges await! Can you handle the heat? Let's journey onward to the next level! Average round Number 1 A point is located at 4, negative 2 on the coordinate plane. It is reflected across the x-axis, then the y-axis. What are the final coordinates of the point? Again, a point is located at 4, negative 2 on the coordinate plane. It is reflected across the x-axis, then the y-axis. What are the final coordinates of the point? The choices are A. 4 2 B. Negative 4 Negative 2 C. Negative 4 2 D. 2 Negative 4 
The correct answer is A. 4, 2. Number 2. A rectangle is drawn on a coordinate plane. Three of its vertices are located at 2, 2, 2, 6, and 8, 2. What are the coordinates of the fourth vertex? Again, a rectangle is drawn on a coordinate plane. Three of its vertices are located at 2, 2, 2, 6, and 8, 2. What are the coordinates of the fourth vertex? The choices are A, 8, 6, B, 6, 8, C, 2, 8, D, 6, 2. The correct answer is A. 8, 6. Number 3. A triangle is transformed in a series of steps. First, one of its sides is extended. Then, the entire shape is rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Finally, the shape is reflected across a vertical line. Which of the following statements is not always true about the final shape? Again, a triangle is transformed in a series of steps. First, one of its sides is extended. Then, the entire shape is rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Finally, the shape is reflected across a vertical line. Which of the following statements is not always true about the final shape? The choices are A. It will still be a triangle B. It will have the same area as the original triangle C. It will have the same perimeter as the original triangle D. It will have at least one angle the same size as an angle in the original triangle. The correct answer is C. It will have the same perimeter as the original triangle. Number 4. A large cube is painted red on all of its faces. Then, it is cut into 60 for smaller cubes of equal size. How many of the smaller cubes have exactly one red face? Again, a large cube is painted red on all of its faces. Then, it is cut into 60 for smaller cubes of equal size. How many of the smaller cubes have exactly one red face? The choices are A. 6 B. 12 C. 24 D. 36 The correct answer is C. 24 Number 5. A bicycle wheel has a diameter of 60 centimeters. How far will the bicycle travel if the wheel makes one complete rotation? Use pi equals 3.14. Again, a bicycle wheel has a diameter of 60 centimeters. How far will the bicycle travel if the wheel makes one complete rotation? Use pi equals 3.14. The choices are A. 94 point to centimeters B 188 point for centimeters C to 182 point six centimeters D 376 point eight centimeters The correct answer is B, 188 point for centimeters. Wow, you guys are unstoppable. The challenges are getting tougher, but you're proving yourselves to be true math masters. Are you ready to face the unknown? Take a deep breath and let's conquer the final obstacle. Difficult round. Number one, two semicircles with the same diameter are drawn so that they overlap. 
The overlapping region forms a shape resembling a lens. If the diameter of each semicircle is 10 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the lens-shaped region? Use pi equals 3.14. Again, two semicircles with the same diameter are drawn so that they overlap. The overlapping region forms a shape resembling a lens. If the diameter of each semicircle is 10 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the lens-shaped region? Use pi equals 3.14. The choices are A. 15.7 centimeters B. 31.4 centimeters C. 47.1 centimeters D. 62.8 centimeters The correct answer is B, 31.4 centimeters. Number two, a triangle with vertices at one, two, three, two, and two, four is translated for units to the right and to units down. What are the coordinates of the new vertices? Again, a triangle with vertices at one, two, three, two, and two, four is translated for units to the right and to units down. What are the coordinates of the new vertices? The choices are a. 5, 0, 7, 0, 6, 2. B. 5, 4, 7, 4, 6, 6. C. Negative 3, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 2. D. Negative 3, 4, negative 1, 4, negative 2, 6. The correct answer is A, five, zero, seven, zero, six, two. Number three, two angles are complementary. If one angle is 20 degrees more than twice the other angle, what is the measure of the smaller angle? Again, two angles are complementary. If one angle is 20 degrees more than twice the other angle, what is the measure of the smaller angle? The choices are A, 20 degrees, B, 25 degrees, C, 30 degrees, D, 35 degrees. The correct answer is A, 20 degrees. Number four, a square piece of paper is folded in half to form a rectangle. Then, the rectangle is folded in half again to form a smaller square. If the perimeter of the original square is 30 to centimeters, what is the area of the final smaller square? Again, a square piece of paper is folded in half to form a rectangle. Then. The rectangle is folded in half again to form a smaller square. If the perimeter of the original square is 30 to centimeters, what is the area of the final smaller square? The choices are A. 16 square centimeters B. 32 square centimeters C. 64 square centimeters D. 128 square centimeters
the correct answer is a 16 square centimeters number five a line is tangent to a circle at point p if the radius of the circle is five centimeters and the distance from the center of the circle to the line is 13 centimeters what is the length of the line segment from point P to the point where the line intersects the line containing the radius through P? Again, a line is tangent to a circle at point P if the radius of the circle is 5 cm and the distance from the center of the circle to the line is 13 cm. What is the length of the line segment from point P to the point where the line intersects the line containing the radius through P? The choices are A. 8 cm B. 10 cm C. 12 centimeters D 14 centimeters The correct answer is C, 12 centimeters. Congratulations, math champions! You've reached the summit of our math quest. You face every challenge with courage and brilliance. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. Don't forget to share your epic victory with your friends. Hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures in learning. Until next time, keep those math skills sharp. Great job on the math quiz. Share your results in the comments below. Check out other videos from BrainWise.